guys. Thanks so much for your time today. Um, the pressures of doing a Star Trek movie for anyone must be pretty great, but what was it like, I know this is a second film, what was it like coming back for the second time after the reactions to the first movie? Terrifying, because the first movie we felt like there was only one way to do it. Like there was one story we could tell that would free us and yet pay homage to what was Star Trek. The second movie we sort of freed ourselves from the continuity and therefore could do anything. And that's terrifying. The first movie had such low expectations, and now suddenly the second movie is like, show us what you can do. And so that's why we took our good sweet time to really make sure that the story was something that we could hit it with a hammer and make sure that it, it survived. And, and so freedom is, is terrifying, but um, that's, the, the time we took was well worth it. And, and I guess the changes that happen in the movie there, I mean, there's quite a lot that you obviously grew up Vulcan in the first film and um, changes <laughs> and things like Klingons and things in this one. Is that something that you're scared to do or is it something that you relish the chance to actually go through and make these changes and not worry about them so much? Those changes are essential because they're ter they are, as Bob said, terrifying. And obviously you know that when you do something like that, you're taking on a whole fan base of people who are really going to question why you're doing it, which means you have to do it for all the right reasons. And it has to feel inevitable to a large degree. It has to feel like this, the story is about that, that those big, bold choices aren't just afterthoughts or grace notes, but that they are the fabric of the story. Mm -hmm. And um, so we all we put all those choices under a microscope, and not just the two of us, but as a unit, everybody. Like, we really run it through a lot of people and talk about it and talk about how to play it out. Um, and I think that given the fact that our job has been to uh, pay homage to Trek and be reverent of what it is and has been, it's also our job to come up with a way to do things in a new and fresh way. Mm. So as long as you feel that that spirit is being honored, I think we feel like in some ways it is our responsibility to shake it up a little bit. Mm. And I guess, do you, do you guys sort of pay attention to what fans say after they've seen the film and, to sure. see how they, and, and how do you react to some of the comments? Are you pleased when people are talking about them or is it, is it are you sort of worried to go on, oh, what have we done or, or not, not so much? Well, Alex and I are split. Like, uh, I, I I, I'm on the internet way too much, and I check out what fans say way too much, and then I, re I report back to Alex, and he sort of stays away from it and just hears my report, my, my, my brief. We do pay attention to what the fans say, and we paid attention to what they said after the first movie, and you can see some of those things actually come to fruition in the story. In the first movie, uh, 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 some of the percentage of the fans said, oh my gosh, Kirk became captain so fast. So in this movie, we make, we make a point of that. We say... People thought you became captain too fast and are you too irresponsible? And we actually incorporated fan reaction into the, into the text of the second movie. And that's the fun thing about franchises and the challenge. You want to actually, it's a dialogue with fans. Fans know as much as we knew about Star Trek coming into it. It's been around for 50 years coming up in 2015. So we don't own it. We, we share it with the fans. And so that's why we listen to them and that's why we incorporated their point of view. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, brilliant. And I love the way engineering was. Uh, in, uh, I'm a big Next Generation fan. Engineering is a warp core. It goes vroom vroom, and that's mm -hmm. about it. But <laughs> this, the scope of the the whole engineering, is just amazing. Was that fun to write and just to feel like what it could actually look like if it was real? Yeah, absolutely. And and the facility that we shot at was actually an engineering facility. So it, it was very exciting to sort of say, okay if we're going to actually see the core for the first time how are we going to what's that really going to look like and and it the scope of it is just so massive we could never have production designed anything that big because you look around and there's just they're like doodads in every corner and every inch of it it's and the scope and the scope of the of the location was so huge i mean you'd stand in that room and you couldn't believe how big it was so it 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 feels very authentic because it is very authentic yeah. And we got to see a little bit of the Klingons in this film. Um, they were sort of teased. Does that mean that we can expect to see a bit more of them in going forward? Let's see what the fans say. <laughs> like, like that's the nice thing about it. Let's wait till the movie comes out. And again, this is truly a fan dialogue. So let's see what they say. And more Klingons may be requested, or they may say, "Please, no Klingons." And we want to respond to that. So you've got. You must have ideas as to where the third movie may go then already. <sighs> yes, I wish we did. <laughs> But not, but not, no, <laughs> and what about a TV series as well? Because I guess we, Trek's not been on TV for quite a while now, and we want, all want to see it come back. Is that something you've been approached to do to, to maybe see if you can bring it to the small screen? I mean, look, I think the thing about doing it as a tell you ha you would have to have a, the same reason that we had to to do the movies, to do the television show, not just to do it to do it, but to say there's actually a new story here, and there's a new direction, and there's a, a new chapter in Star Trek that feels really relevant and has its own course and is inspired by all the things that inspired us to want to do these movies. Uh, so I think we're very protective of Trek in general and would want to make sure that 
it, it was being done for the right reasons if it ever happened. Brilliant. Well, thanks so much for your time yeah. today. And sure. Maybe it's brilliant. Thank you so much. Pleasure. Thank you. Pleasure to me. You too. A real pleasure. Spider-Man as well and all, Thank the, you. all the stuff you're doing. Thank you. Thank you, you, you sir. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.